What is the gene pool? Have you ever wondered what makes a population of living organisms strong and resilient? The answer lies in something called the gene pool. So what exactly is the gene pool? The gene pool is essentially the total collection of all the genes and genetic information present in a population of a particular species. Think of it like a big library where all the genetic books are stored. Each book in this library represents a different gene, and the variety of these books determines how diverse the population is. Imagine a population of birds. If all the birds look exactly the same and have the same traits, they are said to be monomorphic. But if there are different types of birds with various traits, like different beak shapes or feather colors, then they are polymorphic. This diversity is what makes up the gene pool. A large gene pool means there is a lot of genetic diversity, which is good news for the population. It makes them more robust and better able to survive tough times, like diseases or harsh environmental changes. On the other hand, a small gene pool, often due to inbreeding, can make the population more vulnerable and less likely to adapt to new challenges. In crop breeding, the concept of gene pools is very important. Plant breeders categorize crops into primary, secondary, and tertiary gene pools based on how closely related they are. The primary gene pool includes members of the same species that can easily interbreed and produce fertile offspring. The secondary gene pool includes closely related species that can crossbreed but may produce less fertile hybrids. The tertiary gene pool includes more distantly related species that require special techniques to breed. Gene pool centers are also significant. These are areas around the world where imp important crop plants and domestic animals originated. These regions have a rich variety of wild counterparts of cultivated plants, which is crucial for maintaining genetic diversity. So, the gene pool is not just a collection of genes. It's a key factor in the survival and adaptability of any population. It's what makes a population strong, resilient, and better equipped to face the challenges of the world.